Today is going to be fun because we're going to work on some math problem solving with fractions for third grade, which means we're not going to use part, part, whole, or any of the other terminology that we used to use when we were younger. We're ready for the real vocabulary, and we're going to solve a problem using fractions with a candy bar. Let's get started. Let's read the problem. The teacher wanted to share a candy bar with two students. What fraction of the candy bar does each person get? All right, I noticed a couple things about this right off the bat. I bet you do too. First of all, the person who wrote this problem is kind of trying to trick us because it has a number two in the problem. But are we sharing the candy bar with two people? No, because the teacher needs a piece too, right? So it's really, there's three people sharing the candy bar. So we have to figure out what fraction of the candy bar each person gets of three people, not two. The other thing I notice is that the candy bar pictured here has all kinds of pieces, way more than three pieces like cleverly marked off on the candy bar, kind of partitioned into pieces, right? So we're not gonna be able to use what they've given us to solve this, at least not at first. So I think we should block out that and just make, let's represent the candy bar with just a brown rectangle for now, the same size as the candy bar, just to make it easier for us to work with. Whenever I am solving a math problem where people have to share something or I have to put something into groups, I like to draw a picture. So I'm going to represent each of the people, the teacher and the two students, all three people over to the side here with a smiley face so we remember just how many people are sharing this candy bar. And now we're ready to draw some lines and see how much each person gets. It makes sense that they each get one piece, right? Three people, three pieces. So we have to partition this rectangle into three pieces. But let's just think about it for a minute. They need to be the same sized pieces. We can't have one person get a whole bunch of chocolate and the other two only get a little bit of chocolate. Everybody needs the same amount of chocolate. And the thing with fractions is we don't ever create fractions or use fractions unless the pieces or the amounts are equal. So it always has to be the same amount. Otherwise it just doesn't work at all. Someone won't be happy. Looking at our picture right now, we have three equal size pieces of chocolate and three people extremely happy because they get to have some chocolate, right? And they're all getting the same amount of chocolate. So we know that each person gets one piece. They don't get the whole chocolate bar. They get a part of the chocolate bar. And we need to name the number or the fraction of the chocolate bar that each person gets. That's what the problem is asking us to do. So when we're writing fractions, the number we put on top, called the numerator, and the number we put on the bottom, called the denominator, come from very specific places. The numerator is telling us how much or how many each person is getting. And the denominator is telling us, always tells us, the total number of pieces. Now we picked to have one piece that each person gets and three total number of pieces. And we picked that because there were three people sharing. So it makes sense that right now, our fraction, how much each person gets, is one third or one over three of the candy bar. I noticed something special about the answer that we found, the fraction that we found to answer our problem today. And that is that it has a number one in the numerator. And that's because each of the people get one unit of the candy bar, right? One tiny piece, one third of the candy bar goes to each person. And because there's a number one in the numerator, we like to call this fraction a unit fraction. It makes sense, right? You get one unit, it's called a unit fraction. If the denominator was different, let's say it was 
4, and the fraction was 1 fourth. As long as that number 1 was in the numerator, then it would be a unit fraction. Now that we have an answer to our problem today, we know that if three people are sharing one candy bar, they would each get one third of the candy bar as long as those pieces were equal sized pieces. Everyone would be happy and we could call that our fraction. And if we wanted just to check to make sure that we were correct about that, we could add each of those fractions to make sure we came up with the whole. As long as the denominators are the same when you're adding fractions, you can add the numerator and see if you get the whole. And right now I'm seeing that if we add one third plus one third plus one third, those three ones in that numerator, they add up to three. And three thirds means we're back at the whole. So we can be assured that our answer of one third is correct for this problem. What fraction of the candy bar does each person get? Each person gets one third. And if you look at the candy bar, we can kind of fade back out and take away the brown rectangle and see the candy bar pieces that were originally there. We can really see just what that looks like when there's three people sharing a candy bar. Each person gets one third.